Jeg filmer bare lige lidt uh, lidt hverdag her. Du kan bare køre med tram, hvis man synes, at regnen bliver træt. Ja.
if there was an adventure of Rob Roy stealing from the rich and giving the money to the poor. And as you can imagine, Rob Roy became something like a rock star of the day. But in 1724, something was going to happen that I will tell you in just a minute. I want to take a look on the left hand side and you will see a viaduct that looks like the one in the Harry Potter movies. Before you get too greedy, it is not. This is Glenogo. The one that is in the Harry Potter movies is Glenfina. But the highlands in the times of Rob Roy were uh, covered in a network of drover paths. So the drovers could take uh, their cattle from point to point quick and fast. Right after this Jacobite rebellion that I spoke about, the English troops were posted here in the highlands and the soldiers built military roads on top of those drover paths. And in fact, we are driving now on what was before a military road. Now, the viaduct on your left, the local viaduct, is built, uh, it's a Victorian built. Once you finish the walking for William, you can catch from there the Jacobite Express that will take you on a two-hour trip to Bali. The Jacobite Express is a very characterful steam train, and this journey will take you a couple of hours and you will be admiring what is considered the most beautiful uh, Scottish scenic route here in our country, according to the magazine Fair. Okay. And that's it's more possible because you go to the train, you take your boat, you take the entire train with your friends, and you order your back on, and you will be doing that as well on the train that features as the Harry Potter, sorry, the Hogwarts Express in the Harry Potter movie. Yay! Yay! So do I have Harry Potter fans? Saturday. On Saturday, we started with three. I ended with 50. I don't know how that happened. Probably being a Potterhead is contagious or something. So, where are my Harry Potter fans? Woo! Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Perfect. Because at this point, I would put the song Harry Potter. But everybody knows it's too long and too boring. So, I'm going to sing it instead. Yeah, I paid 150 pounds per hour for singing lessons. I need to make them work. It's okay. So, here it comes. Known as the three sisters of the Glen Cove, from left to right you have hope, faith, and charity. And between hope and faith, you can see a line of trees. Well, that line of trees will take you to a basin that is actually joining uh, hope and faith to uh, the two mountains. That is uh, the hidden glen. Normally, it's almost in the clouds. Guys, we are going to stop here for our official picture spot. Canal. The Caledonian Canal uh, were a series of canals that were joining together the locks, and the locks they were at the same time joined with the sea, so the boats could go across the country. But when they started building the canals, they found out that they had two main problems. One, the locks were not at sea level, they were raised up. And the other, the logs were not at the same uh, height within themselves. Mm. And we ran out of kangaroos here, we sent all of them to Australia. So how on earth are we going to make the, log, the boats to go up and down levels? Well, I will tell you later, because how much would you fancy an extra bonus ninja picture stop? Ooh. Are you for real? Let me say it again.
picture is just now. We've got P-I-C-T at the start of that. So the pics translated to the painted people. So when they went to war or held celebrations throughout the year, like the summer or winter solstice, passed out local flora and fauna, maker face and body paints. Now the first archaeological evidence of a castle in the 11th century, and the first Bruce records not until the mid-13th century. Ooh, yeah. 